So the app basically sets up an interface for an employer. Let's say I run a restaurant, three of my servers catch COVID or they call off or whatever, and I can essentially find qualified servers who are available that night to work a shift anywhere in town of comparable capability, I would assume. Like if you worked at an Applebee's and Chili's needs a server, that's mm -hmm. probably not that much more shit I need to learn other than how to ring stuff up. So if Chili's needs three waitresses that night and I'm available and I feel like picking up a shift, I mark myself as available. And then the crew app goes, hey, Roy, head over to Chili's. They need you for five hours tonight. That's right. Do you want to be our spokesperson for the app? Because you just <laughs> uh, crushed it. <laughs> that was it. That's it. I mean, it's what? so simple for both sides. And it's free for the talent to use so they can get on, join the crew community for free, browse shifts based on the things that matter to them, availability, how far they want to drive from their house, what skills they have. And for restaurants and bars and event venues, they set the parameters. They meet the talent where they are. If they need super skilled people, they clarify that. And if they just need a body, because we all know sometimes you just need an extra set of hands during yes. a rush. You need somebody else to help on the dish pit. And a lot of times anybody can slide into that role and we're meeting the talent where they are. And what it really gonna, again comes down to is helping these um, institutions in our communities. Restaurants and bars and venues are trying to do everything right. And they're losing Suffering. great people and the talent they just deserve more so it's just connecting both sides really easy easily and it's really low cost for restaurants and it makes it so simple 